My name is Daniel Lumsden. I'm alumnus of 1996 and have been teaching at St. Mike's for the past 20 years. I also head up the school's community engagement and learning initiatives. These initiatives focus in on two priorities for our school, and that is developing future ready leaders and building empathy through service. I will explain a few approaches we take in order to reach our goals for our students. I find that students learn best when they are challenged and engaged in a variety of instructional methods along with ex experiential learning. We want to be disruptors in education where we intend to break the traditional model of education and rebuild using evidence-informed practices and pedagogy that is relevant and prepares our students for the future. We want to bring the real world into our classrooms and be that guide on the side while our students are engaged with one another. One way of achieving this is the large number of guest speakers that we bring into our building to speak to our students. But it goes well beyond just having guest speakers. Another way is bringing students outside the classroom and meeting individuals in their respective fields. It is important that all students are included in this process as opposed to just the top students in the class. In order to develop transferable skills for the real world, Michael Fullen identified six deep learning skills that are needed to provide our students with the necessary tools to be productive citizens. And they are the following. One, character education. Students who are resilient, confident, empathetic, and whose overall well-being is healthy are likely to be positive contributors to society. Two, citizenship. In a globally connected world where our culture, values, and ideologies begin to intersect, education needs to build global knowledge and respect for diversity. Three, is communication. Communication is a skill that students must have when looking at 21st century skills. Critical thinking, one of the major facets in education and 21st century thinking skills, is a student's ability to think critically and come to decisions using appropriate tools and resources to make those decisions. Five is collaboration. The importance of collaboration in learning so students can learn with and from others. And last is looking at creativity. Creativity calls on students to be able to ask the right questions to bring about emerging ideals. And some examples include working with universities. Our business department has a partnership with an Ontario University where our students have the opportunity to meet their faculty and students and ask questions related to post-secondary. Our students have the opportunity to do a case study with a faculty member and a simulated market game in which they enjoy. This is a great partnership as it gives an opportunity for students to connect with professors and it works well for the universities because they could be speaking to potential students coming to their school in the future. We look at Unity Health. We have partnered with Unity Health, specifically with Providence Healthcare, St. Michael's, and St. Joseph's where our students have the opportunity to volunteer their services. And some of these services include the following. A courtesy program where students will help provide information for directing patients, families, and visitors. We also look at patient support, where students will provide emotional support to patients and their families in waiting areas and clinics. Students will look at retail opportunities such as the gift shop or outpatient pharmacy, where they will help assist with product merchandise. Recreational support, where students work with music, arts and crafts regarding the patients. Next, we look at Career Day. With Career Day, our grade 11 students, they get the chance to hear from individuals in their respective fields. We make sure a number of industries are represented. And the goal is for our students to hear what path these individuals take to get where they are today. Sometimes that path is not always direct, 
and we are fine with that. It is important for our students to get to know that. There are three ways of looking at this approach when it comes to career day. Experience. You want to find out what students want out of this experience and build off that. We want to help create a sense of inclusion and belonging and find ways to communicate that this is a day designed for them and with them. We want to look at the approach. We want to move away from traditional setups, such as speakers at podiums and lecture styles. We want to look at to borrow from conference ideals and approaches to boost engagement and communication with our students. And these happen through fireside chats, storytelling, world cafe, which are round table talks, and audience that is set up for breakout rooms. We look at content. Content is where we can drive and embed the deep learning principles, which will help to develop future ready leaders. We're looking at new and emerging careers or emerging needs within these careers that need to be filled in their future. So maybe it's not a new profession, but a new way of working in that profession or emerging demands. Here at the school, we have a hackathon. A hackathon is an event where people engage in rapid and collaborative engineering over a relatively short period of time, such as within a 24 to 48 hour period. Our students have been involved in hackathons for several years now, where they work with an outside coach, building a prototype that will have a social impact on the school community. Our hackathons take on a design thinking focus, which looks at five pillars. Empathy, defining the problem, ideate, prototype, and test it. It is the empathy stage that we really focus on with our students. This stage allows our students to understand the same feelings that others share. It allows us to let our students put their feet in the individuals of others. Our recent hackathon had our students design an app or website that focuses on mental health, racism, and human rights, to name a few. And what steps we can take as individuals to help overcome the stigma and stereotypes these individuals face. And last, we look at international trips. Traveling is one of the best educational experiences we can provide our students. Here at St. Michael's, we provide March break and summer international trips for our students. It is these experiences that create long-lasting memories, but provides an opportunity to make our students better global citizens moving forward. They have the opportunity firsthand to learn about other cultures and their values. We want our students to be prepared to tackle on the real world, to be future ready leaders who acknowledge and appreciate the value and responsibility they have to their communities and more globally. We are steadfast in our commitment to provide excellent educational opportunities both inside and outside the classroom. In partnership with parents, alumni, community leaders, and organizations, we work to provide impactful opportunities to prepare our young man with a foundation for life. Together, we will ensure our students will be future ready leaders who acknowledge and appreciate the value and responsibility they have to their communities and more globally.